kind of hit bottom um, when I was sexually assaulted um, December of 2011. I immediately reported it, um, thinking that my command would be there for me because they always tell us in training, if you're sexually assaulted, report it and we'll take care of you. My command did not take care of me. My commander blamed me for the rape and said I could have prevented it. And then my first sergeant tried to demote me because of my lack of job performance. He called me incompetent and told me, you know, he didn't sympathize or empathize with me and that I needed to get up and soldier on. My rapist was in the same battalion as me and he was not moved out of the barracks. We, lived, we both lived in the barracks. He wasn't moved out until eight months later, so I had to see him every single day. Um, he, broke, he broke the no contact order that was against him multiple times. You know, I still had problems with my drinking, it got worse. Um, and so they put me into ASAP, the Army Substance Abuse Program, because my commander felt like my drinking problem is what had contributed to my rape. And, you know, it, it just felt like in, like in every time where I really needed the Army, you know, my command to be there for me, they had completely turned their backs on me and put all the blame and guilt on me and not on the other soldier who had attacked me. At that moment, I really lost all respect for the army and for the command and for the programs that are supposed to be put in place to help victims. I'd lost all respect for all of that, the whole entire institution. Because, you know, before it happened, I, th I had a different outlook on the army and how it treated people.